what you're saying You're flying higher than a plane And I'm not complaining It's getting too loud We'll figure it out I'm out of my brain Мармелад из пепси. Короче, газеворотки 250 миллилитров. 7 грамм агар-агара. Нагреваем до небольшого закипания и варим 4 минутки. Убираем с огня. Разливаем по формочкам и на 20 мин холодос. Мармелад из двух ингредиентов готов. Хавай на здоровье. Короче, шоколад растопить, стаканчик налить. По стенкам распределить, остатки вылить. В холодос на 20 мин убрать. Сливки 20% налить, сгухи по вкусу добавить. Хорошо взбить. В стакан наливаем, в морозилку на пару часов убираем. И палочку вставляем. Стаканчик разрываем и вкуснейшее домашнее мороженое получаем. If you love garlic, this technique is going to change your life. Fill a saucepan up with peeled garlic and cover it with oil. Place the garlic in a 200 degree Fahrenheit oven for three hours. And I know it sounds like a lot of time, but you literally don't have to do anything besides stick it in the oven. It's called garlic confit, and it's going to award you with roasty, toasty, smashable, spreadable garlic cloves that do not leave you with dragon's breath. Pour the confit and the garlic laced oil in a resealable jar. Keep it in the fridge for at least a few months. This will last a long time, if you don't eat it first. So now I'm getting asked to make these. Oh. We've done this before and I'll do it again. Gonna need cheddar cheese powder. Yeah, you can get them online. Bowl. One cup cheddar cheese powder. Half a cup white cheddar powder. One tablespoon of paprika. One tablespoon of onion powder. <coughs> Half tablespoon of salt. One teaspoon of MSG. Yes. Whiskey business. Corn tortillas. Cut into quarters. Five quart pot. Fry oil. One and a half inches. Medium heat. Place onto a baking pan. Into the oven to dry. 275. Five minutes. Flip them all. Take them out. 325 to 350 Fahrenheit. Now fry those in batches. Two to three minutes. Transfer to a wire rack. Dust with your seasoning. So we've got some dusty boys. I'll tell you right now, we might have did something. Don't you dare throw those away. We're making the best banana bread. I can't stress it enough. Measure like this. Sweet. Best way to measure. One and a half cups all-purpose flour. One teaspoon baking soda. Half a teaspoon kosher salt. Three quarter cup unsalted butter. Make sure the butter softened, not melted. One cup packed light brown sugar. Cream, medium speed, two minutes. Two eggs. One teaspoon vanilla. Ripe bananas. The batter's gonna curdle. Don't do your word. Funnel in the flour low speed until combined. That way you don't make a mess. Spray a nine by five loaf pan. 45 minutes to one hour. Oh yeah. We start with six avocados, slice them, cut my arm off, and pit them, and punt that jit out of here. Then fully peel them. We juggle our hatch peppers, cut them in half, take out the guts, and dice them. Don't be a baby, keep the seeds. Next, we dice our red onion, white onion, and garlic. In a bowl, we mash our avocados. Add red onion, garlic, salt, black pepper, fresh lime juice, and hatch peppers. Then fully mix. Gee, Linda, that looks great. For the pico base, we demolish the tomato. To our tomato base, we add white onion, salt, fresh lime juice, and our hatch peppers, and then stir it together. Ah, oh, Linda, that's muy bonita. To make the dips look prettier, I add Add grape tomatoes to the guacamole and cilantro to the pico de gallo. And now it's time to dive into the dip. I'm definitely a pico girl. Are you a ninja turtle? Are you a ninja turtle? Keep the butt on if you don't want to cry. Dice your onion. Chop up your green onions. Greens and whites, we don't discriminate around here. For garlic, Minced. Minced it real good. Chinese sausage. Two eggs. A few splashes of fish sauce. Heat up your oil. Make sure that it's hot. 
Wait until your onions develop color and a little char, then add your sausages. Slide everything to the side. Then you add your rice. Soy sauce, fish sauce, sriracha. Combine it all together. Chef's kiss! McDonald's McNuggets. Start with that chicken breast. Go ahead and cut it up into little cubes and we're gonna blend it in batches and we're gonna pulse it. You could use a grinder if you have one, but I don't have one. I'm guessing a lot of you don't have one. You could use a blender. Works just as good. Season the meat with a bunch of salt and pepper. And then the key to shaping your nuggets is to keep your hands wet so it doesn't stick to you. So you feel me? We made a few McDonald's shakes and, you know, we went off with some dinosaurs, made a country. And look at that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that went into the freezer for like two hours. For the dry mix, we're going to go flour, cornstarch, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, mix it up. For the wet batter, we're going to go eggs, half a cup of water, fourth cup of cornstarch, and whip that up. Then once your nuggets are hard, we're going to go dry, wet, dry, wet, and then leave on there. And then once you do that, you're going to heat up some oil once it bubbles around the, the stick, the wood, the chopstick, fuck. Throw them into the oil. Make sure they don't stick to each other. Fry them for about two minutes each side. Take them out, and you got chicken McNuggets. Yes, sir. Uh... Les voy a enseñar mi desayuno favorito. Chile serrano, chile jalapeño, chile ancho, cebolla, ajo, epazote, tomatillo, sal, arrachera, cebolla, queso chihuahua, Crema para acabar. Grab some Oreos. You'll need about 36. Either put them in a Ziploc bag or a food processor and crush them. It should look something like this. Grab about a spoonful to save for later. Grab about 8 ounces of cream cheese and mix it in. After mixing, it'll look something like this. Now you'll need a baking sheet and line it with parchment paper. Roll the mixture into a ball and place it on the sheet. Make some space in your fridge and leave them in there for about 30 minutes. Meanwhile, grab another bowl and pour in some white chocolate chips. Put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Take them out and mix them around and repeat this until they're melted. After 30 minutes, take them out and put them on a stick. Now they're ready to be dipped in chocolate. Just like that. Put them back onto the parchment paper and pour your Oreo crumbs on them. They're gonna end up looking something like this. So yummy. Put them back into the fridge for 10 more minutes. And they're done. Let's try them. Okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now you know how to make Oreo balls. Dikne mein cute hai aur khane mein super crispy hai. To aaj main aapko potato nuggets batane wali hu. Yahan pe maine ubale hue aloo liye hain. फ्लेवर के लिए हम इसमें मक्खन डालेंगे और साथ ही में कूटी हुई काली मिर्च सूखी हुई रेड चिली फ्लेक्स और स्वादानुसार नमक डालकर इसे मिला देंगे बाइंडिंग के लिए हम इसमें कॉर्नफ्लावर मिला देंगे ये देखिए हमें इस तरह का एकदम क्रीमी टेक्सचर चाहिए ये जो सारा मिक्सर है इसे हम जिपलॉक बैग में भरेंगे और इस तरह से इसके लंबे लंबे स्टिक्स निकालेंगे इन स्टिक को तीस मिनट के लिए हम फ्रिज में रखेंगे यहाँ पे मैंने ब्रेड के स्लाइस लिए और उसके बाद मिक्सी में इस तरह से चूरा बना के लिया है दूसरे बाउल में हम मैदा और साथ ही में थोड़ा सा पानी डालेंगे और इसका एक घोल बना लेंगे अभी अच्छे से सेट हो गए तो इन्हें हम मीडियम शेप में कट कर लेंगे इन्हें हम सबसे पहले मैदे के घोल में अच्छे से डीप करेंगे और उसके बाद हमने जो ब्रेड का चूरा बनाया है उसमें अच्छे से कोट कर लेंगे अब इन सारे नगेट्स को हम थर्टी मिनट्स के लिए फिर से फ्रिज में रखेंगे आप चाहो तो इसे हफ्ते भर के लिए स्टोर करके रख सकते हैं और जब भी आपको खाने का मन करे मीडियम फ्लेम पे यानी की मध्यम आज पे इन्हें गोल्डन ब्राउन होने तक फ्राई करें